Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can remove the background from any image if you are working on a computer. Now, we did a similar video for Android users out there, but then if you want to do it on your Windows machine, this is how you're going to do it. Now, I'll be talking about two amazing tricks. So, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. So the very first trick is pretty simple and it just takes like two seconds to get it done. Now, if you have a browser and an internet connection, all you need to do is open up the browser and then go to the website remove.bg, I mean remove.background. And here just upload the image that you want to remove the background of and that's it. Just process it and the background would be removed. If you also want to change this background, you'll get the option there as well. And well, we have talked about this in a dedicated video about the best websites that you should know about. If you have not checked that video out, I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video. And well, that's how you can do it if you have a working internet connection and a browser. But here's the thing, you don't always have an internet connection and also uh, the kind of control that you get on this particular website is minimal. I mean, you can't select the background if there are like two persons, uh, it's not able to detect the background properly and you get, I mean, 90% of the time it would work. But then for those 10% when it doesn't work, there's a built-in Windows tool to help you out. Yes, no Photoshop, no, I mean, I'm not talking about any other paid apps. Your Windows PC has a built-in tool. So the name of the app is Paint 3D and it comes pre-installed on all the Windows device. So to use it, simply right click on the image you want to edit and then select edit in Paint 3D. The app will open up and create a new project for you automatically. The first thing you want to do is select the main subject. For that, click on the magic select from the toolbar. Now after that, you want to frame the subject and crop out as much unwanted area as you can. And once you are through that, just click on next. The AI will now automatically detect sections of your image that needs to be kept and section that needs to be removed. However, in some cases, it may not be accurate. As such, you can use the add and remove tool in the sidebar to highlight which portions to keep. Now, once you have done that, just click on next. So now your subject has been created in a different layer. And the next thing you would like to do is remove the background or change it to something different. So in order to do that, first cut the selection by clicking on the cut icon. Your selection is now saved on your clipboard. Now click on the menu icon and then again click on new to create a new project. Once it has been created, click on the canvas tab and then enable the toggle next to transparent canvas. You'll see that the entire canvas is now transparent and all you need to do now is just paste the previous selection using the shortcut Ctrl plus V. And there you have it. Your background has been removed and you can just go ahead and save it as a PNG file. Also, if you want to add a personal background of your choice, just add it as a layer and then you can select the background if you just can just move the layer. It's very simple. It's a free alternative to Photoshop in so many senses. If you just want to, I mean, for just the basic task, this is a great tool that you should learn. Now, if you want us to make more of such videos, please do tell about us in the comment section. If you like this video and the, both the tricks, if they have helped you out, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button as well. So, well, that's all in this video. And I hope to see you in our next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.